the wait is over. We finally got the release of the next stage extra booster. Hey guys, what's going on? It's JPOJP's Curtain Call, and we finally get to start the case opening of the next stage extra booster for Cardfight Vanguard. <sighs> Welcome guys. Don't forget to hit that like and give a comment every single video because that helps us get noticed and it helps us trend so keep that in mind honestly if you want us to help us grow i do recommend doing that and yeah if you don't like me you know move on to a different channel sorry about that but anyways we're a channel that does unboxings of all these different sets. We're trying to get involved in the community, get you involved, so you can actually even play with us via Discord, including myself. And we also like to have a little fun doing these openings where we are incorporating a lot of stuff. Uh, we do pack battles, and I do those against you guys, the followers and those who have YouTube channels yourself. We do punishment videos where I face my co-host, CJ, in box battles, and whoever loses has to face a punishment. Uh, we we also are going to incorporate a new one called the guessing game and I'll tell you the details of that when that comes out so these all happen over the course of the videos where we do these unboxings the first video of every unboxing is just one box so we can kind of dive into it go really slow see the commons and kind of talk about the different strategies of the different uh, clans that we're facing okay so before I get too far into this I have something that you guys can do. And this is something that's gonna be really cool, so I hope you guys really enjoy this. I'm giving a lucky fan who follows these videos to do a Vanguard rare and higher count. So what I mean by that is, Asha, we pulled how many VRs in that video? Alt Mile, same thing. Chrono, next stage, same thing, right? get the point sp rares name the sp rare svrs which ones were pulled so essentially what you're going to do is maintain a list of what we pulled consecutively over the course of the videos so at the end of this video you'll probably tick off uh, one of the vanguard rares and you list that and say vanguard rares alt mile one count and if that's all we pulled in today's video I will pin it if you are the first one and we will continuously do that so the next video whatever we open SP pack SP pack if that's pulled you name that any of the Vanguard rares plus what was open from this video so it's a consecutive continuance of counting what we pulled in one case I will pin your comment every time. So keep that in mind, it could be a different person every time. If you are first to do it, and you are correct in doing it, I will pin it. All right, let's take a look at the next stage because it's been a very long intro, and we're only gonna do one box today, remember. And this was all thanks to Card Fighters Underground, a card shop in Chicago, uh, where we were able to secure this case. Me being a vendor, it's all great, but this was the last set I couldn't pre-order. So everything after this, we don't have to worry about that, but they've been very generous in helping supply us this case so we can do these videos. So let's get right into it. So there is our artwork of the next stage, Extra Booster 14, where we have the support, and I believe these are all the search card grade ones. I think they're all the grade ones. Very important pieces. If you're gonna play these cards, don't get rid of those. And if you do, more power to you, but we've seen a lot of issues where those search cards have become very valuable. So just keep that in mind. All right, so in the next stage, we have three different Vanguard rares, six different triple rares, two double rares, 16 rares, 28 commons. So we're gonna kind of cover a lot of that stuff in this one box. You also can get three SVRs, three different SP packs, but we'll get back to that, and six different SPs, which you get three to a case of that. But the SP packs, each clan has their own complete SP pack, where there's full arts of every card in the pack, just like they did with Astro Force and Genesis. But it's random, because you don't know which one you're gonna get. Whew, man, that was a lot. That's all right. Let's get into this. 
and see if we can pull something really cool in the first opening. <laughs> but everybody asks me all the time, what are you looking most forward to? And I said it, I said it in the trial decks, and I'll say it again. I look forward to mostly Neo Nectar. Now guys, check this out. Check this out. In each extra booster box, you get a random clan dice. How cool is that? So the number six is replaced by the clan. In this case, it is the Neo Nectar. I'm not a big fan of the color. It kind of looks like a, uh, let's just call it baby food peas. Uh, we'll call it that, we'll call it that. And of course, we have our new animated episode, so you can watch that stuff. And then we have what is coming in spring 2020. Cool, Bang Dr Gr Dream Girls Band Party, download for free if you wanna participate in others. Now I thought Buddy Fight was done, but they still put an insert about it anyway. Uh, okay, well it will be, I guess, over within a year or, or what have you, but um, you know, sad, sad news for them. And I'm hoping it doesn't happen anytime soon to card fight. But, guys, check it out. These are all Force Clans, so you will get one of these in every single box. I'm not going to open all of them, but I do want to show you. The Force 1 is always this artwork. The Force 2 is a character artwork, and it's, um, I think, the original 4, I think. Uh, so you'll see those guys, and every single booster box has a Quick Shield, because I know everybody is like, how are we going to get more Quick Shields? Because I want to add one to all my deck. Well, here's how you do it. Uh, these extra boosters all include them, so cool. All right, this has already been a very long video, so we're gonna try to speed it up a little bit, uh, but let's put these packs aside. I'm actually gonna put them off to the left here, and let's hope we can get something really cool on the first pull. All right, Devoted Maiden, Tanja. Now, we're gonna do this for the first few episodes, but once we have to start picking up the speed, I'm not gonna read all the names, um, but eh, okay. That's an interesting card, I guess good for Asha. Um, Tyrannal Knight, Ekrif, which, is, which isn't bad, but it's good for the Alfred cards. It's a searcher for Alfreds. Uh, Steam Cooks, Sasu, Sao, uh, Saush. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess if you're gonna run it in the front row, it's a rear guard that you actually should run in the front row and give it extra power, but I don't know. All right, just a basic grade one there. There's a plant token with her little beady eyes and her <laughs> multi-tiered color and her little eyelashes. Kind of cool. I think those are different from the actual plant tokens in the trial deck, but hey, whatever. Interdimensional Beast, Isolate Lion. Remember, we have a very small common base, so we should be able to get through these very fast. And then Steam Fighter, Bally. <laughs> Anyways, check that out. His, his effect is when placed, look at seven cards from the top of the deck, reveal up the one Chrono Jet Dragon from among them and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. And if you did not put a card in your hand, this unit gets plus 10,000. So he has kind of two effects. Really good rear effect drive, but also if you need to run it on Ran Vanguard, it doesn't hurt uh, because it, it gets you that one large search if you didn't get the Chrono Dragon. So should be considered as a G3 run in your deck. Maybe like one or two of them, uh, just, just in case. Stabbing Knight Regal. When it's put in your drop zone from your soul, this unit gets 5,000, so you soul blast and then something works. All right, just a basic card there. I'm sorry, Smitty Knight Oslak. Steam Cook, <laughs> there she is again. So we already went over her. Scallion Gear Bear. When your opponent's Sentinel is placed on Guardian from from hand, choose one of your opponent's rear guards that is not being attacked, retire it, and this unit gets plus 5,000 till the end of the turn. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's cool if you're running him on like maybe, you know, rear guard or whatever. Nobody's, I don't think anybody's gonna rationally run him on Vanguard unless you don't have another G3. I love this card, by the way. Bad Boy Wogak Key. Boy, I probably, I did my best. <laughs> Rear guard, effect only, retire this unit and call up the two plant tokens to rear guard. Fantastic for the Asha token build. 
if you don't want to run, you know, if you're running your Ashas and you have one Asha token out, this would be that would be a great card for the second Asha token if your first one didn't get destroyed on your opponent's turn. All right, up clutch dragon when it attacks. And there's another um, there's another search card for upstream steed maidens melum. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to use that. And there's our first Vanguard Rare. Dream Spinning Rhinoculus Asha. Fantastic. Uh, Vanguard Rares, as we see them, we'll use our studio lighting there. As you can see, it's a typical Vanguard Rare treatment. But very cool. Very, very identified. Very textured on this card. Really cool. The plants love JP though, let me tell you, because I'm sure we're going to pull a lot of them early and often. But that is our Vanguard Rare. Remember what you guys have to do as our loyal followers, and you'll be pinned into the comment board. So I hope you guys really enjoy this, because I think it's going to be really cool. And if it doesn't work, we'll stop doing it. But I think it'll be a really cool count for you guys, and it'll be fun. All right. So there's a good Royals card. When placed from hand, and this is on rear guard, if you have five or more units, counter blast one, search your deck up to one one card with blaster in its name, call it the rear guard and shuffle your deck. Honestly, wink, wink, MLB searcher, right? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Just saying, come on, guys. Uh, anyways, really good Royals card there. Uh, during your turn, if you have a unit in rear guard, same as your vanguard, this unit gets plus 10,000. Eh. Yeah, whatever. I'm not too fond about that one. Steamfire Shuttle. Um, discard from your hands. Soul Blast 1 until the end of the turn. Your opponent cannot call grade 2 or greater cards from hand to guardian. Ah. Eh, ah. Eh, I'm not a fan. <laughs> now remember, guys, I'm judging these cards based on how I read them. Never take that as advice. Just take that is my personal opinion, and if you want to run it, you're more than welcome to. Honestly, never take my opinion in stride. I just try to help you out by what I think about it and what use it would be. Uh, we did do her already, Stabbing Knight. And the artworks on this set is just incredible. Aggregate Angel, if you have six units, this gets that's very specific. So when you have a full when you have a full group on the field and this guy's running as a boost. He'll give you, an, he has 20,000 attack. Not actually bad. Seriously, you run in Force 2, right? You run him in rear guard support of Alt Mile or one of your rear guards with the Force 2 on it. It actually doesn't sound that bad. If you have no face up cards in your damage zone, this cannot be chosen. Nah, whatever. Um, at the end of the battle, if attacker boosted, discard a card from your hand and return one of the rear guards to your hand. Um. Yeah, I mean, if we can get, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that card. Maiden of Fine Ale. Black Counter Blast, retire. Look at three cards, top of your deck. Call up the two cards among them to rear guard and put the rest on the bottom of your deck. Call up to two cards in any order. Interesting. Actually, not a bad card if you're struggling, I guess. Um, yeah, that's why I say that tomato so much better bad boy tomato or whatever his name was uh, steam digger have bloom um, I'm assuming a grade one with 3,000 attack is used for something else so I'm just gonna put him aside he has no ability <laughs> uh, pensive and intellectual Leonard yeah, if you have if you have up to six units and no face-up cards in your damage zone, Soul Blast three. Ooh, that hurts. And discard a card from your hand until the end of that battle. Your opponent can only call can only call Sentinels from his hand to Guardian. That's not a bad effect though. <laughs> uh, completely disregards intercept. Uh, well, hold on. It, you can only call Sentinels from his or her hand. Yeah, completely. Well, no, I think grade two intercept still works. It's just the hand, they can only guard with sentinels. That's rough. Oof. Get that force two on there. Oof. Not bad card, actually. Uh, no face up cards, this gets intercept. Uh, from the, and can intercept from the back row. That's actually a pretty cool effect for sure. Uh, when placed, if your vanguard is grade three, maiden of dream shower. Uh, all your tokens get plus 10,000 until the end of the turn. Not sure how beneficial that this card will be. 
uh, seeming as, unless you're running those basic tokens, the Asha token always represents in mimics Asha. Unless you don't have Asha in your Vanguard anymore, then it could work with those token cards. So, something to think about. Uh, Knight of Bright Light, Crota. When placed, if you have five or more units, counter blast one, and draw a card. Eh, not bad. Okay. Not bad. All right, discard a card from your hand, set your deck up to grade four, and ride it as... Really? Shuffle your deck, and at the end of the turn, retire that unit and ride a grade two or less from your soul or drop zone as rest. Ah, it lost me there. <laughs> But then again, I guess you could rewrite a grade three, like a Chrono Dragon, and then do it all over again. Interesting. But check this, guys. Check this out, guys. Critical trigger, Sentinel, thirty thousand shield. Whoo! This I think this will change the game a bit. So yeah, you can use it as a Sentinel or burn it as a thirty thousand shield. I think that's going to be very interesting. An easier way. To defend against Vanguard with that's not using Force One, right? Very easy way. I think that's going to help a lot of a lot of people out. They don't have to discard that burn card uh, for the Sentinel. They can just use that shield. All right, Genuine Made in Fern. I can't believe we haven't run into that that many repeats yet. Uh, when placed, if your Vanguard is Grade Three or greater, call up the one plant token. To rear guard, it says grade three or greater. Like there's going to be a, a grade four coming out. Interesting. Call up the one plant token to rear guard, and one of your opponent, one of your vanguards gets plus five thousand till the end of the turn. Fantastic way to boost Asha. All right, maiden of white color. Retire three rear guide. <laughs> Retire three rear guards and ride a grade three or greater card from your hand as stand. Um. And if your soul has seven or more cards, draw three cards. Uh, I'm not seeing that one to be useful just yet, anyway, but it could be. Uh, when attack hits a vanguard, stand this unit, and this unit cannot attack a vanguard until end of turn. Great way to attack the rear guard. I like that card. Believing. Uh, uh, believing Maiden Lilia. When your other rear guard is placed by your, your card's ability, it would be really great if I can speak today. <laughs> I'm going to restart that. When your other rear guard is placed by your card's ability, Soul Blast 1, and that unit gets plus 5. Uh, maybe useful. I'm not quite sure yet, just yet, why. Uh, when your Vanguard attack hits, Counter Blast 1, this unit gets t plus 10,000, and they crit until end of turn. I actually don't mind this. But you gotta run them on rear guard, um, especially with that sentinel block card. That would be pretty dangerous. <laughs> and for a triple where we got Valkyrie of Reclamation, Padmini. Boy, I think I nailed that name. <laughs> During your turn, if you have two or more tokens, this unit gets plus 5,000. Extremely easy to do in this clan. When placed from hand, vanguard or rearguard, look at five cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one grade three from among them. Put it in your hand, shuffle your deck, and if you put a card in your hand, discard a hand. Discard a card from your hand. Searchers, guys, I'm telling you, it's going to be really good. Especially since, you know, you G assist if you don't have it in your hand anyway. So, honestly, they're like almost necessary cards to run if you're running very few G Force. But Neo Nectar, I don't think you'd have as hard of an issue to do it because you're running technically, you could be running up to eight, possibly ten. So, and, and that we'll play test and see what works and what doesn't. But let's keep moving. We're, we're doing, uh, you know, like I said, we go through this slow. Uh, but we're going to pick up the pace a little bit so we can get through this video. Anything else that what is notable, we'll talk about. All right. Sage of Eminent Virtue Tian. If you have five or less units, this unit cannot attack or and cannot be attacked. Interesting. Too bad that doesn't work on Vanguard. <laughs> during your turn, during your turn, this unit gets plus 10,000. So I guess you got to retire units to make him his is a uh, ability active all right there's the flower fairy token you're gonna get in random packs stormbreak and doo-doo 
<laughs> do do right? Do do do. Oh my gosh, forget it. <laughs> We're moving on. Full tank tangerine retires unit call off the one plant token, and that unit gets plus five. Eh, eh. I'll see it later. Bind the unit. When the attack hits, bind this unit, draw a card, and bind a card from your hand. Good way for interdimensional, just saying. <laughs> Hope Song Angel, search your deck for up to one Starlight Violinist, call it to rear guard, shuffle your deck. Hmm. Well, we have to see what Starlight Violinist does. Uh, Maiden of Iceberg, we're just going to keep moving here so we can be at a reasonable time, guys. I know you'd probably prefer me to spend a little time, but we're just going to keep going. I got to say this name, though Steamwriter Lubaba. <laughs> Lubaba! <laughs> Pensive Vanilla, yeah, we've done him. There's our awesome plant token again. I wish they would have made that a rarity card. That would have been so cool. <laughs> Maiden of Dream Shower, we've done you. Wow, two tokens in one pack. Blow Ball Squire, one place, no plant tokens. Call up to two plant tokens. Plants are grade zero. That's pretty cool, actually. Another searcher. <laughs> Here it is. Laurel Knight Cecilius. Once again. Search cards, guys. I'm telling you, if you get them, hold on to them. And and honestly, I mean, if there are better grade ones you can use other than the search cards, let me know. But I think those search cards are really good. Uh, Smitey Knight, Oslak, Stormbreaker, and Armorith. We're going to keep flying through this to get through this video. And then we'll, we'll touch base on our next video and kind of go over what. There's another critical sentinel for the Royal Paladins. So they are in a double rare format. It's fairly easy to get. So everybody should be able to run those here very shortly at a very affordable price. So watch the markets. I imagine it's not gonna be too much, uh, but if it is, I'm sorry, but they shouldn't be. Honestly, they shouldn't be. It's a double rare. If they made them triple rare, they'd probably be a pain in the butt to get. All right, so let's keep moving forward. We'll touch base on the ones we didn't touch on next time, or even kind of talk about what works and what didn't in our playtesting. There's our Starlight Violinist we were looking for. No face-up cards in your damage zone. All your grade two units get boost, which is ridiculous and can intercept in the back row. That card, that card only works though on rear guard, so something to think about. All right, let's keep moving forward here. Asha's Flower Fairy, Might and White Color, Clearness Angel, very cool. Love the artwork. Oh, we gotta talk about this. We'll talk about that next time. I don't foresee really any usable deck right now. And we got our very first SP rare. <laughs> so you thought we were done and here we go. This is our first SP rare of the pack. Very cool. I think it was just a rare. So the other one should be a little higher rarity. Cornflower, flower, cornflower, flower maiden eins. Cool, I will take that. We'll put that guy, we'll put that gal aside and we'll do our last pack here. And we'll get through this fairly quickly and say our goodbye. <laughs> All right, wow. And just when we thought it was over, then that happens. So a lot of promise in this set. I think it's gonna be interesting to see what works, how these clans will work against the other current standard clans. It's a lot of potential. Force decks can be very powerful, especially with those Force 2s and high power. So we're gonna see how this plays out. I'm really curious myself. We're definitely gonna be playtesting on this on Discord. I hope you can join us, I really do. We'll put the Discord link in the description. And if you haven't already, please follow us if you are watching our videos and like them. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Also, it helps us trend a little bit. But thank you so much. I really appreciate you joining us for this video. That's all the time we have. And we'll see you next time.